I've been there working undocumented for a few years, and I file tax and I get tax returns from IRS. Okay. Would it be a problem if I were to apply for a green card? How you plan on applying for a green card? My son is a U.S. citizen. So he's turning 21, like in two years' time. Okay. So what the law says is uh -huh. that if you made a legal entry into the United States uh -huh. and your son is a U.S. citizen over the age of 21, okay. the fact that you worked in the United States illegally, the fact that you were breathing air in the United States illegally, you lived here illegally, does not bar you from getting a green card. As a matter of fact, you're following the law by filing tax returns on work that you're doing. So you are actually following the law. So if you put down, you worked, you paid taxes. My son's a U.S. citizen. He's 21. I made a legal entry and you file that adjustment. You're getting a green card. Between 21, like February 6th, what right. is the best time to file for adjustment status? February 7th, 2025. One day after his 21st birthday, put in the adjustment application. The best thing is to get your green card as fast as possible. And whether you file the adjustment on one day after your son turns 21 or 21 days after your son turns 21 or three months, it's the same exact case. There is no additional document okay. you need to get. So the best thing that you can do is file it as quickly as you can. Oh, I see. All right. You can't uh, file it till 24 hours after mm -hmm. your son's 21. I live in California and you're in New York, right? So if I were to engage a firm to file for me, so That's not a problem. Talking. I handle cases in all 50 states. I have lots of clients in California. I have lots of clients everywhere. In every state, I have a client right now. Sure. And because of the way technology works, we do uh -huh. telephone calls, FaceTime, okay. emails. I could even represent uh -huh. you telephonically or virtually. So clients in uh -huh. every state get the same exact service, whether you physically are in front of me or we do it by technology now. So what about like if they ask for like an interview, green card interview? Or? We represent you in New York. And what will happen is the immigration officer will call us on the telephone or FaceTime us, whatever okay. they prefer, and then invite okay. you into the interview. And we're representing okay. you from our desk in New York while you're physically in California. Mm -hmm. We prepare you oh, right? before you go in. Mm -hmm. So everything is virtual now. The entire world is different. Okay. So you're fine. We, if you're hiring okay, me, you. what I'm uh, telling you is if you hire me in California and I'm in New York, you never have to come to New York. I never have to go to California and you are 100% fine. Thank you so much, Brett, for your answers, okay? Thank right. you. Well, call me in the fall of 2024. Thank you so much, Brett. All right. Be well. You have a good day, Brett. You too.